So today I'm going to show you how to build up your own map in Google Map Maker if you don't already have uh, you know, an official surveyed map that we can adapt and use in Medic 52. So to get to Google Map Maker, you go to google.com forward slash my maps and that will open up a window that looks something like this. We'll click on open a map because I've already started one and in this case we're going to go to uh, sunny upstate New York and we're going to go to Toggenburg. In your case you'll probably just want to start a new map. And then what you do is you navigate to the place where you want to start and where you want to draw lifts, buildings and trails. The first thing I suggest you do is just get your bearings and, and figure out where things are. One really great way of starting that is going to base map and changing over to satellite imagery. That'll give you the, build, uh, the, the trees and runs and you'll be able to see where, where things have been manufactured. Makes life a lot easier. The second thing you're going to do is click add layer. And once you've done that, just rename the layers into buildings, lifts, and trails. And the reason for that is that when we export this, we're then going to divide those three things down into the file that we, we import into Medic 52. Now, you can see here that I've already done a whole bunch of work. I've got a number of buildings, and you can see as I hover over those buildings, and you can see they've kind of got black lines over them, uh, it will also give me the items in the list down here. So you can see as I hover over, the little buildings then just uh, uh, light up. So I'm just going to move down so we can have a look at the buildings. There we go with there's a bottom hut and there's a bunch of buildings here. Now I don't know what they're called, so I've just labeled them as building question mark. And we've got one more building that we want to draw around, which is this guy down here, uh, which appears to be the bottom hut for a, for a lift. So to do that, I'm going to click on draw a line and then click add a line or shape. And I'm just going to, you know, click on each corner of the building. And as I go, that line is going to drop some points. It's going to kind of keep adding to the building as I go. And I think that kind of goes straight across the front there. Don't worry too much about how it looks. And then I'm just going to label that one as bottom hut. We'll come back and change that again in a second. But you can see now that I've got the bottom hut for that particular lift, and we can see the lift there. So that's how you draw a building. Let's have a look at lifts. So we've got a lift line here, and you can see all the lift towers if I scroll across. And then you can see my lift line that I've drawn over the top of it. And that one's called triple chair. Now if I zoom out a touch, you can see now that I've got two lifts going up the resort here. There's another one over here, which is called beginner toe. And I'm going to zoom in just up the top here because we've actually got another beginner toe to put in. So again, I'll click add line or shape. Um, I can actually sort of make out the bottom of that uh, rope toe. So I'm going to just start there. And I'm going to make a, a bit of a judgment because the, the map isn't quite showing me where it goes. Um, but I happen to know it kind of finishes up the top here somewhere. So I'm just going to hit that for a second. And then instead of continuing to draw, I'm just going to click on that end point and it will complete the line for me. Then I'm going to put in the name beginner toe. There we go. We're done. OK, so now we've got if I click on this one four of those lifts. I'm going to zoom out a sec and there we go. Now you can see that there's the triple chair, there's the north double, there's the beginner toe and there's the other beginner toe. Okay. All right, I'm just going to close lifts and I'm going to open up trails. I'm not going to worry about that error for just a second. And we're going to see just as I hover over these, they light up as we go through them. So that now shows that I've got each of my trails in place as I go across the resort. And we've got one more trail to draw down at the bottom here. So in order to do that, it's much like drawing a lift. I'm going to click add a line or shape. And I'm going to just 
plick kind of around through the trees here just so it has a bit of shape to it and then join it out at the bottom. Again, the same thing, I'm going to click on the end of that line and then I'm going to call that number one, oh my goat. There we go. Okay. Now I've just uh, used the numbers because that's what's on the, on the trail map. You don't need to use those numbers if you don't wish to. Now to keep track of some things, you may also want to just color these um, just to make it easy. So let's have a look, say at uh, Caracal Curl here. Um, I know that that one's a blue run. So if I wanted to, I can actually just hit blue there and that'll give it a nice blue color and then we can see them. Uh, the other thing that you might think about doing and we, we do this uh, when it comes down into Medic 52 anyway, um, it's just, you know, making your your, your chair lifts and, and your lifts say red or, or a color that doesn't clash with the other items that you've got. And then if we turn on buildings and then trails as well, we start to get a good picture about what our resort looks like on top of Google Maps. Now I'm nearly done with my map, but I need to make an adjustment to a couple of lines. So to do that, you'll just click on the, uh, the run, for example, that you want to move. And you'll notice that there are several points along the line. Every drop that I did has now an intermediary point as well. So I can either move the original point that I put in, or I can create another point by clicking and dragging that one across. Now, when I let go of that, it will now create two other intermediary points. So that allows you to get pretty specific about where you want your line to go. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. So I'm just going to have a look at my map. I'm just going to uh, check through everything, have a quick look through the runs that I've got and where things are placed. And I'm pretty happy with that. I've colored a bunch of stuff in, so I know what's going on. Now I've got to export this so that I can convert it. So to do that, I'll click on the three dots over on this side on the bar, and I'm gonna click export to KML. I can export only parts of it or the entire map. In this case, I wanna do the entire map and hit download. Now that's gonna to save to my hard drive, and you can see it's actually called KMZ. So in order to get the KML file out of this, take this in your uh, Finder or your, your Windows Explorer, change the extension from KMZ to .zip, to .zip, and then simply extract it, and then you will get a KML file from that.